Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance Forever. This is the Galaxy Cup Final. Starting here at the third game, my previous cast showed the first two of the Galaxy Cup Final best of five series here between Ajax and Nexus. Ajax has a 2-0 lead at this point going into the third game, so Nexus has to win this to continue the series. Even a draw actually would seal the deal for Ajax. No, actually then you'd have 2.5, so Nexus could still come back, but he definitely cannot afford to lose this game. And the map is Canis River, 5x5 classic GPG map. Slightly different uh, starting base than a lot of maps because you get six mexes and that's quite a lot. Get a hydro just at a certain distance away where there's a decision to be made whether you walk to it with the ACU or do you rush it very quickly. Nexus is going for a lab. He's going to aim probably for the hydro here with this. He made it for second lab. Well, actually, okay, his uh, land scout is going to see what's happening. There is uh, water on Canis River, which is one of the reasons why both these players have gone for Aeon. The hover tanks are going to be very good. And generally, Aurora are just the best tank on 5x5 maps, at ranging other T1 tanks and the ACU and the lab for Nexus has reached the Hydro. A commander has not been sent here and this build order is a perfect counter to what Ajax has decided to try here. He's going to probably have to send, yeah he's already sending an engineer out here. Tried to build P-Gens to block shots but typical Aeon. They have no <laughs> no blocking capacity there, they just are flat to the ground, so nice try, but he couldn't save either of those energies and that lab definitely paid for itself the hydro halfway done and gets stopped. Let's see Ajax build now. And he's lost two units of build power, they would have expanded afterwards. Maybe built an air factory, built a radar as well, so He's delayed heavily by this now. One engineer sent to the left, got a little bit of reclaim and uh, now expanding. There is there are some nice chunks of rocks here that you need to grab. A lot of opportunities for different build orders. That's that's a good tank from Ajax. Getting two kills. And get killed the lab up here and killed whatever that is, maybe a scout he gets taken out see Nexus faster expansion than Ajax on this side but Ajax quite quick to these mexes over here and his AC is coming to suck up all this reclaim and take control of some mexes on Nexus's side of the water. Hills over here really messing with the Aurora. It's constantly shooting the ground. It's a terrible place to fight for Aurora. So you are against an Aeon. This is a good place to be. In the hilly hilly places where they can't use their range. But here, look at that, he just pings the the engineer. So there's not gonna be a point defense here. So could be more vulnerable later on in the game unless this PD gets finished and actually Nexus is already on his way over. Good play from him. Ajax stop building a PD. You almost always see a PD here just to avoid run by getting all the way back to the corner and then being quite annoying to deal with. 
Where is the ACU for Nexus? Here it is. Going toe to toe with Ajax. Ajax is going to take the reclaim though. He's already got all of this stuff here. Or a lot of it. But Nexus looks like he has more tanks right now. See, we got 23. Oh yes, a big tank lead and Nexus is making use of that. Easily stops his PD from going up. And he's going to take out the expansion. That's a lot of hill shots. Oh, it's probably because the PD is not finished. So it's hitboxes. Somewhere deep underground, perhaps. But uh, he needs to finish off this mechs. One more shot will do it. There we go. And that's a very nice damage here on the left. Not letting Ajax get more map control. And this is still contested. So Ajax is going to move over and maybe secure it. Nick Ajax, uh, I think, has used his AC a bit better now during this game. Got the reclaim. And is now going to try and secure this expansion. Nexus may steal a mech and try and push him off here using his units and his ACU. A lot of T1 factories. No air whatsoever from either player. Just T1 land at the moment. Ajax has made a single anti-air. Just in case. But maybe maybe we can see some sneaky air air switch. You know, build an air factory back here where it's not gonna be spotted at the back of the base and get a few bombers together. But uh, it would be quite an expensive investment. And with Ajax already having a couple of anti airs, maybe it would be more effective for Ajax to do it versus Nexus in this scenario. Let's see the economies. Well, Nexus has a bit of mass. Certainly has some power. Could get a storage, maybe. And Ajax also overflowing power, and he has. A very empty mass bar, but look at that, just the reclaim keeping him afloat so he's not stalling. Still all of his factories are producing at 100%. Nexus has the HP advantage on his ACU, and he has a lot of tanks nearby. So it looks like Ajax will be forced to retreat before this point defense is complete. Next, doing well on the left side, getting some map control, t doing some damage. Can even, with the help of the, with the nice hover, can even get in around, kill the reclaiming NGs, be annoying at the back of the base. Hiding in the corner here is also quite good, and then popping out because uh, there's almost never radar in these spots. So if you can hide a tank there until. Well, hide it there for a minute or two, then you can pop ahead at a good moment. Ajax and Nexus trading blows. Ajax killing a lot of Aurora with his ACU. Well, Nexus, maybe not the best micro here to retreat his ACU out of range. A lot of shots hitting the ground here. But still, Ajax, 15 kills on his ACU. Close to his vet. Doing better than Nexus in terms of ACU still. But now Nexus getting some good kills. Getting some veterancy. Not too far behind Ajax in that in those terms. Raid on the left, still no one can get a PD in these uh, these positions. If they do, it's gonna be a lot easier to hold, but as it is, just a few Aurora can come in and clean these out. And then Ajax going to send some engineer to build the Mexes, and then Nexus is going to raid that again. But Nexus making ground on the right side looks good for him and there's a lot of reclaim here so he's going to try to throw up a PD and uh, hold this area. Maybe he should be uh, reclaiming with his AC instead of building that point defense. But he's going to finish it, it's almost done. And uh, he has the resources to actually build it at full speed, which is very important. And that's that's going to force Ajax away. He's going to lo lose a lot of HP 
to this PD. But look at these very nice arties behind the hill. Can't be touched. And they're going to take out the PD. Now Ajax, Ajax uh, looking to push back, realizes how much reclaim is here. This, this area of the map is just far more important than anywhere else. Ajax maybe had an opportunity to do some damage to this Hydro. But it's all about this. All the reinforcements really should be moving to this area as Ajax and Nexus just fight back and forth, leaving Rex everywhere. Ajax has a few engineers in the area. Nexus has none. And that could be quite nice for Ajax. He could uh, get back, get a nice advantage here. Ajax does have more, a bit more power. But neither of them really in any power problems. Because it's just T1 land. Still no air being built whatsoever. And Nexus grabbing some of that reclaim with Zetsu. So he has no engineers here. And being a bit annoying with units at the back of the base. Doesn't have a scout here, so these are going to be just uh, reclaim left in the base. Going to be difficult to grab them, though, because there's all these tiny trees in the way. And I think Nexus could maybe just try scoop up as much as reclaim with Zetsu and leave. There is a lot of more reclaim over here as well, though. This, this spot is just such an annoying place to to fight because the Aurora have real difficulty. There's a little hill here. There's these hills on either side. This is a very tight choke point. And we saw what happens when you try to build PD. Some RT is going to hide behind the cliff. Ajax now moved his units away to the right and uh, that may have been a mistake because Ajax is losing HP. Nexus is very low. Are they going to draw? Or is Ajax going to play for the win? It's down to Ajax really now. Because Nexus... I, oh, maybe Nexus is going to draw. He is. Alright. Nexus. Yeah, look at what Zalul said. He's completely right. Winning the whole game. And then he goes for the draw at the end. Oh... I think he, I mean, you can see here Ajax did not want the draw. It was Nexus pushing in here. He wanted the draw. He had to get Ajax below 2500. But he could have pushed him away and had the reclaim field. And he was certainly ahead. I mean, look, it was very, very slight advantage. But he, uh, Nexus was basically ahead the whole game just slightly I think you can put it down to uh, that lab at the start honestly that was uh, probably the biggest difference maker because everything else was very even just raiding back and forth but uh, Nexus should not have drawn there really could have taken advantage of Ajax not wanting to draw just let him run away chase him away come back take all this reclaim Use it to secure the rest of this reclaim. Maybe invest in some bombers. But no, it's a draw. So we're at 2.5 games. 2.5 for Ajax and 0.5 for Nexus. Nexus has to win both games. Both of the following games. And then, well, that would be a, that would be a tied series. And now we'll open game number four. So again, must win for Nexus. He did not get the result he wanted in the previous game. Well, I, maybe he did. He, just <laughs> he went for the draw, but I'm sure he would have preferred a win. So here we go. Loki is map number four. Nexus is Cybern. Ajax is... Seraphim, finally, not a mirror matchup. And, uh, <laughs> Zalos says the same. He doesn't know why Cybern. Well, Nexus 
was a great Cybern whore on ladder. Always played Cybern. And uh, I guess he's just comfortable with them. Magix goes for Seraphim. Normal build orders, it seems. First two NGs to the trees. Well. Ooh, Ajax going for a very fast expansion down here. And that's kind of interesting. I thought... Uh, hmm. So he sent his first engineer to expand. Maybe he actually assisted a PGen or two. But um, that's a bit... It's strange. I thought if if you would send your first engineer here, so you're very expanding very quickly, that you would uh, try get a PD to defend versus the ACU. But uh, it doesn't seem that way. He's just going to grab the mechs as the reclaim. He place a wall segment so he gets the mass and a radar, some trees. Doesn't expand down here either, so that's a bit weird. Uh, Nexus doing a lot of manual tree reclaim instead of the attack move that you normally see and I think this is actually going to make his expansion a lot faster Ajax getting some reclaim here I think this is the best way to grab this mass honestly attack move and expanding, gonna get a factory, radar, got it all planned out. Three mantis already, four mantis already from Nexus as he goes second, third air. Ajax meanwhile going second air. And only now getting some assist on his ACU. You can see he's using the attack move and although it requires far less micro, it, uh, it's gonna take longer. See, Nexus has reclaimed most of the trees here, and uh, his BO is very nice. Pretty low in power. ACU is already on the move, spending all of his mass. Quite slow expansion to the top, I would say. But uh, allowed him to get the factories up faster, get a lot of tanks around. He has a lot of tanks here already. See, like Ajax has has only two tanks. He's only just made his second tank. Nexus, meanwhile, has seven tanks. Now, is he sending them to the right spot? I think it's a. You should almost always send one down here. Send a tank down here because there's always an expanding engineer moving to these mexes. But he's going for this expansion, and looks like he can raid this quite easily. Ajax bomber moving towards the engineers of the Hydro. First one goes down and Inti uh, is not attacking the bomber. Ajax now with some micro gets the second kill. The Hydro is denied almost finished and that's unnecessary from Nexus didn't need to lose both those let's see what his tanks can achieve well certainly raiding here I'm gonna kill the engineer this mechs probably all the mechs and Ajax very slow here on the on the Hydro I think his build order was not very good he only has his third land factory now See Nexus. That is for a little while. But this Hydra is hurting him. You can see his, his power income is not good enough. And instead of building another factory with these engineers, he's forced to switch to P gens. It's not good for him. Very nice bomber from Ajax. This engineer expands on contested. And tanks are moving here to try and deny any. Expansion to the bottom side from Ajax's NGs or Nexus's NGs. You could also send uh, Zui's as the 
as a seraphim player, across this water can be quite annoying. Ajax is going fast. T2 land is already 50%. We're only five and a half minutes in. And he also has a T2 mech as well. So this is some old seraphim play. <laughs> Good old T2 land rush. So what can Nexus achieve before before those Ilchis start moving around the place? He's adding more factories, quite a few more factories. So he's not planning to move to T2, I think, anytime soon. He also has no T2 Mexes. He's making one now with a bit of assistance. In reaction to uh, what Ajax has done. And now we see Ajax just finished T2 land. And we're less than six and a half minutes in. Ajax Nexus has left the reclaim behind. This is why you build a wall on the rock. So that it always gets reclaimed. Both ACUs in a similar position. Oh, Nexus missed on this reclaim. I think this is almost always missed, really, these, these couple of rocks. For whatever reason. But, uh... Yeah, there should be no trouble taking this expansion for Nexus. This is quite nice. Some Mantis hiding, and they even have a mole with them. Ajax drops some engineers, and they're in serious danger, honestly. I think Nexus is gonna spot this, and yes, he does. Here come the Mantis. Ajax with a far superior power income probably needs to stop <laughs> building it because he's wasting it, really. He's also building a T2P gen, so this is not exactly the most efficient from Ajax. Nexus, meanwhile, has a nice eco balance, and he killed all of the engineers here. This expansion is delayed again. Ajax is going to have to drop it. Still has his transport. And yes, there he goes. Drops a couple here. Going to get a factory and start reclaiming all these trees. And all these rocks. Actually, he has none of these yet. Meanwhile, Nexus grabbed almost all of them. It's good for Nexus. And Nexus now also has T2 land reacting to what Ajax has done. A couple of engineers expanding here as well. It looks like they should be safe because Ajax obviously has far less T1 land after going T2 land so quickly. Sending Ilshis out. One here. This guy maybe is uh, ill-advised <laughs> running forward like this with no, no radar. No Selene with him. And there's three factories ahead. And Medusa and Mantis, so he could just get stunlocked to death, maybe. Ajax needs to reclaim some power, honestly. Well, two Ilchis move in to try and deal with all these Mantis, and I think they're going to succeed because, yeah, they're using the range well. Some damage going to be taken, but the Mantis need to completely surround these Ilshis to actually do damage. Silshi over here. Looks like he's going to get killed without too much trouble. Bit of raiding as well with T1 land. We have three T2 Mexes now for Nexus and another one on the way. T2 P gen is complete for him. And two T2 Mexes for for Ajax, just finishing off his third one. Nexus continuing to do some damage with the Mantis. This is good damage. Also, killing the factory is very good as well. Ajax is going to drop it again. There's some Mantis getting in here. Maybe they'll kill a couple of NGs, but uh, they won't be able to kill the expansion or do serious damage. Also, have a, a Wagner. Very nice unit to have on this map. Now, he may get killed by this... Uh, Ilshi, but uh, perhaps he'll get into the water first. There he goes, below the surface, and he's going to come back here, probably kill all of this, and then he can actually hide in the water again. Probably even get a bit of health back from veterans he after he kills this stuff. T2 
see a lot of Medusa from Nexus, which is what you need. Look at this. Stun locked. Well, not quite stun locked, but he's going to run away. That's for sure. Taking a lot of damage. When you marry the, the stun with some some rhinos, then suddenly you actually can fight versus uh, versus Ilshavot. The Wagner does indeed kill everything. Oh, he's just out of range of the Hydro. Adrix making T2 in his commander. Not sure what he's doing that for. What is the plan? If he's going to walk up here, make a TML, or... Maybe he'll make some combat upgrades. Well, he started Nano. Maybe he was just making T2 because he had uh, all this extra power. And now, making Nano very quickly has plenty of power for that. We have 11 Ilshavo now. That's a, quite a significant army. Adrix, though, has less, far less economy than a Nexus. Nexus upgrading mechs is all over the place, actually. Maybe maybe he's gone a bit too far because he only has one Rhino and two Wagners. Adrix has so many Ilshavo that uh, Nexus maybe is over-echoing right now. Especially when this, this commander shows up with the Nano. He's probably going to make gun after that. Could be very dangerous. Nexus has gone to Corsairs. I think that's a very good move. Because you can't really get an equivalent uh, power in your ACU as Cybern. You know, T2 Nano Gun Comm is just going to be better until you can make uh, a laser, basically. And that's not going to happen. Ilshi's lining up to get dropped. And this location is very vulnerable. A couple of T2 Maxes, and they have no defenses. Now it does seem to have uh, decent radar coverage, yeah that's a nice T2 radar. And a lot of T1 radars as well. So nothing nothing should be getting past here. I also have a T2 transport, so let's see what the plan is for that. I wonder where he will be dropping. Ajax units moving north it seems yeah it looks like he's sending all of his tanks up towards the ACU and even dropping tanks up there some where is where's the flak that's what I'm wondering and the Corsairs come in and snipe the T2P gen for Ajax and then they get taken out uh, I'm not sure that was worth it, but Nexus has taken the opportunity to win air, and that may actually make it worth it, honestly. I think bef just killing the T2P gen is not worth it uh, for uh, two Corsairs, but... Oh, he kills all the air and then also uses that cover to drop units. Now, these units got murdered, but uh, these t these mexes that are just going to T2 are going to die. Oh, oh! It's going to take a little while longer. Upgraded just in time, and got a really massive HP boost. More Corsairs coming, and I don't see any flak with Ajax ACU. There's also no T2 factory up here. I think mm, there should be a T2 fac here, honestly. We have some extra T1 land facts for Zooey's. They can even run around and be annoying at the back of the base. Nexus kills two T2 Mexes with this Wagner. Gonna kill the Hydro. There's also Mexes back here to be killed. And Corsair is going to work on the Ilshavo. Rhinos really should just be saved while the Corsairs try and do their work.
But now the ACU is moving in and he still has no flak. There's a gunship on him now. Two gunships. Two Corsairs. This does not look good for Ajax. I don't know why he is moving into the base with no anti-air. Needs to get to the water, honestly. I don't know what he thinks he can do. <laughs> Maybe he's going to run in and try to kill these P-Gens, but that doesn't seem like too good an idea when there's gunships ahead, overhead, already three of them. Another one about to come out. And also a lot of rhinos around him, as the Ilshis behind have been killed, and the reinforcements aren't here yet. Ajax is just dead. He's just gonna die to air. And rhinos, and maybe even a beetle if one pops out of this factory. Well, that seems not. And that is Stonewall suicide. Oh, he gets a vet, but that's just prolonging the inevitable. That's a strange one. That is a strange one. Nexus played very well in this game. Very well. Didn't uh, didn't suffer the consequences of all that ecoing he did. And used his air really well. P Gen Snipe gave him the chance to kill all of Ajax's Inties. And at the same time he then, right after killing the Inties, dropped here. Dropped the back, killed a couple of T2 Mexes, and then did more drops afterwards when he had air control. And also with that air control, he was able to just completely stop what Ajax was planning, which was that just big ACU Ilshavo base push. And Ajax brought no flak. Brought no flak. I don't get to push a base <laughs> versus Cybern with no flak, I'm afraid. This Wagner even, well, something got up here and killed us. I think it was a Wagner. That was a T2 Max. So very well played by Nexus. That was a must win and he did it. And that was game four. So he's still in it. 2.5 to 1.5 in favor of Ajax. And we're going to move to the final game. And on this, in this case, even a draw would win it for Ajax. But I don't know how likely a draw is. It's not really a drawing map. This is Desert Planet 2. Both players choosing UEF. Zillow says it's much better than Sarah versus Sarah. Well, I think he's right. A lot more options for UEF. Simply because, well, they do just have more, more units. So only engineers from the first factory for Nexus. That's not the same for Ajax, he's getting 5 NGs, tank scout, NG, tank scout, and then infinite NGs. He's going to walk to the Hydro and build there. Nexus is also going to walk to the Hydro and build there, rather than uh, building two factories here. A lot of reclaim on this map, very important to uh, use that quickly in your opening build order you have three patches and then your expansions you also have three pretty decent patches of reclaim second air from nexus and he's obviously remembering what happened in the last game he's gone second air scout two inties Ajax also going second air. Inti scout, Inti bomber scout, transport, and then scouts and Intis. So he's going to be trying to expand very quickly with this transport and also allow the transport to get to where it needs to be by 
trying to do some damage with the bomber and hopefully also distracting Nexus' air at that time. So I think that's a nice plan from nice plan from Ajax. Nexus has built a mobile anti-air after going second air. Why is he making this? He made two anti-airs as well as going second air and only scouting inties. That's very defensive. Let's see where this bomber from Ajax is. Here it is. On the move. Looks like it has its target already and look at that. Transport dropping off. Gonna get the Hydro and get his expansion quickly. ACU moving to the bottom expansion and the bomber is attacking the ACU. So it's wasted. Also this air scout just got shot by a tank. This looks very good for Nexus now already. Bomber's wasted. Oh no! Dodge. Okay, okay. It's fine. Thought he was gonna sneak a kill at the end there. ACU gonna regen that, no problem. And only one air factory and many land factories. You often see two air factories or more on this map. Ajax has far less land in his base here. And he's going to expand with the transport. His expansion is going to be very, very quick actually. Nexus not using a transport. Could also drop to mid. There's a couple of mexes here, of course, and a decent amount of reclaim. 500 apparently, but uh, I don't think it counts the ones that don't have labels. So a bit more than that even. Let's see the economy. This is uh, can be quite a quite a eco heavy map. One mex coming for Ajax. Nexus assisting his max upgrade gets there ahead of Ajax and has also added another air factory. Not much air. Looks like Nexus is trying to do a bit of damage here, but Ajax. Could see it coming and covers that area. Also covers the bottom side choke with his ACU. Both ACUs on the same side, so we could see some uh, some commander on commander action. I'm wondering if Ajax plans to go to mid. A lot of dropping going on for Ajax. I have notes that in his ladder play he, when he is warming up or practicing for this tournament there's a lot of drop play in his uh, in his ladder games still no one got an engineer to mid some different raids going on no tanks on the bottom for Nexus, so he can't really react here unless he makes a bomber or two. He's gonna try and cut this out with his ACU, but he's gonna lose this max. He may lose this, all of this, but it's only a single tank, so unlikely to lose everything there. And another sneaky raid. Ajax being quite aggressive, trying to use his tanks well. Ajax has a Big power lead here. Nexus has sort of underbuilt power, maybe. It's moving to T2 land. 42% needs that uh, pretty soon. Ajax going to T2 land a bit slower, also not assisting. And Nexus is actually just getting donated mass here, really. You can see. A lot of wrecks left and only a couple T1 mechs is killed. <laughs> slow. Slow saying all the same things. I guess that's a good sign for me. That's a sneaky tank. Four kills in a vet level. Uh, 
and he has been spotted actually gonna be followed if we look at air not many inties what's there an air fight that I've missed perhaps and there's tanks everywhere from Ajax he's trying to be very annoying but Nexus has such good radar coverage that he can spot pretty much everything and he has just enough tanks to get them in the right place and he's doing quite well against the aggression Ajax needs to like uh, well if he could bomb some radars then he could actually get some units into annoying positions but with Nexus being able to see everything he's really in no trouble at all the only trouble would be if he had uh, quite a few less tanks and it doesn't seem to be the way has the defender's advantage so should be fine Ajax Inti's are growing in number and I'm not sure if Nexus has noticed that he is gonna have to keep an eye on it Adrix now takes the score lead however and also slightly ahead on mass has more reclaim has more total mass Nexus not spending his mass in the minute probably has a some factories going to T2. He's adding more T1 land factories. I don't know if that's good to be honest. But he just needs to uh, assist assist factories as they upgrade to uh, T2 support factories. I think it is good to use engineers like that to upgrade factories as they're or assist them as they're upgrading to support factories and then Maybe use the engineers for something else if they're needed. Uh, once they're upgraded. So we have some pillars moving out. Nexus got them a bit faster. Nexus also has full T2 max in his base. So we'll see where he starts upgrading. There's one here. He's also upgraded. He's upgraded two over here. And one here, that's kind of strange not to just focus on one side, I would guess. The ACU side would be the, the place to do it. Because you have the powerful ACU. Neither player using their ACU aggressively here. They, I guess they don't want to risk a suicide, but it could really give them a big advantage if they could make up some ground. It's a lot of T2 factories for Ajax. Two on this side, actually three on this side, four on this side, and the HQ in the base. How can he even afford this? He almost can't. Just needs a bit more mass. Ajax is low, somehow spoke to everyone in the game there, despite being an observer. I hope the players couldn't see that. That would be a bit OP. Nice, uh, nice eco balance for both players. Ooh, there's a lot of factories upgrading now, but I think um, I think Ajax maybe got more. Yeah, he got a lot more support factories faster. You can see he already has so many going. That Nexus actually, although he got to T2 faster. Is now catching up in terms of uh, T2 production. Needs a T2 B gen. I don't see one. Unless I'm blind, but no, he doesn't have one. Ajax changing his angle of attack from the bottom to the left, and uh, this Sparky's gonna have to do some work, get some defenses up because there's not many tanks here at all. Reinforcements being sent that way. And maybe Nexus can do counterattack, but it's a decent army here. And Nexus is a bit split up between two different locations. Ajax also took mid. Looks like he got the reclaim. More economy from both players. Nice TMD here. Maybe a TML at the front would be nice. If he could defend it. And we have quite a lot of bombers coming up for for Ajax decent air force from both guys but Ajax does look like he has significantly more actually 
So when will he decide to use that? Also, Nexus has just finished the gun. Waited a while to make that, and uh, actually these bombers are going to be used to take out these pillars. They should do a pretty decent job. Maybe this T2 Mex will go down, but if it does, that will still be an expensive raid. Two pillars just got killed by that, that pass. Well, almost two. Magic sort of let is allowed to leave here. I think he could have been could have been trapped. Could have taken more damage. Could have left more wrecks. Nexus should walk into this army and farm as much as he can. He has a lot of units with him. And one thing I don't see is flak, and that's a bit scary. Second thing I don't see is power shields. And they would help him a lot. He really needs to invest in some flak right now. Always build flak. Here we go. That's what we want to see. This economy on the left is now looking very... Very unprotected. There's a T2PD. There's TMD. He's actually storaging these now, so it's going to be an even bigger target. 14 T1 bombers for Ajax. One flak and they all disappear, but there ain't no flak. He's going to send them at this army. He has scouted it. He sees there's no anti-air. And he misses a lot of them. <laughs> Classic UEF bombers, but actually does decent damage. And he's going to take out a f quite a few units, and then all the PD is certainly going down. And maybe, maybe the ACU is going to have to find somewhere. Well, it's going to find where he has to defend. Is he going to have to be at the bottom? Looks like he's going to hang out up here, and he's actually making an upgrade. Ajax now sends in his air after Nexus is baited by all the bombers. Tries to win it, but Nexus retreats to the flak, and Ajax has to retreat away and gives up the bombers. But they did a decent job already, honestly. Decent damage. Nexus is making nano. Still not too many kills on this ACU. Ajax has T2 here on his commander. Looks like he's gonna move down get involved in the fight. The top side is completely completely just idle. No one fighting here. There's damage to be done but uh, no one trying to do it. That's a sneaky TML here in the middle of nowhere for Nexus and I don't see any TMD. Certainly none up here. I don't know if he can reach all these mexes though. Oh, he can. He could get four max kills here. Also, kill support factories. And that's a very nice TML. He doesn't wait until it's loaded very far, though, to, to start shooting. Nexus now has ACU. Has Nano on his ACU. But he's just patrolling and not really doing much. Some mass here, decent mass for for Nexus to reclaim. Needs to be quite quick about it because, well, there's an ACU gonna come, and he needs to be ready with all all the mass he can get. T2 air now from Nexus. TML is now taken out. Three T2 Mexes, and a fourth one is gonna go down. TMD going up. After an engineer comes out of this factory. Or actually maybe he was dropped because these these are all building pillars. And I see a little transport. X is now making shield. He's barely used his nano commander and he's going for the shield. I'm not sure. I think he should have tried to use the nano. Get some vet on his, on his ACU. Nano and shield does not really sync up too well. Certainly, it's a 
gonna help the survivability. Shield is really superior to nano. There's just so much, so much more HP. And the fast recharge time once it goes down. Did I see a T3 Max going up? No. I fucking did. There it is. There's the T3 Max. Ajax, no such thing for him. Oh, PD may actually defend this this TML. He's gonna kill the Sparky. And we'll see if he kills the TML. He's gonna target it. And yeah, the TML is gonna go down. I have enough HP to tank. It's gonna fire one more missile though, right? Fire. Oh, they moved. Oh, they moved. That's uh, that's not good. Ajax is here with T2 and shield and no gun. What? Oh, Nexus really needs this shield to finish. He doesn't have T2 in his commander, but he does have a T2 engineer, a Sparky, in fact, assisting him, so it's building quite quickly. But he's going to have to bring in all his reinforcements. A lot of tanks over on the right that uh, he should have had, and as Lowe said, make some power shields. They're so good. I think... Oh, I think... I think Nexus could be dead. Ajax should really have killed this Sparky to uh, stop the the shield from being completed. Now the shield finishes. Nexus is being target fired by a lot of pillars and even Lobos. Overcharge is coming in now. Oh, he's he's so lucky that shield finished. And Ajax, why does he not have the gun? I don't know. Oh, nice engineers here trying to build PD, but, uh, well, the Lobo's in here actually doing a great job. And Nexus has lost his shield already. Ajax now still has 9k in the shield and 15k in his commander. Nexus is shooting a lot of shots into the ACU. He gets his another vet. And he's running out of units. He's running out of units. I don't know if Nexus can survive this nano helping him hugely now. The nano without nano I'm sure he would he would probably be dead, I guess. Nita, that survivability. And he's still alive. The shield is recharging. It's gonna come back online pretty soon. Ajax still has his shield. Still on over 20,000 HP. And just everything being sent at, at, at Nexus ACU. There's now gunships overhead. There's no flak. Where are the flaks, man? Where are the flaks? Where are the power shields? I think Nexus is dead here. Although Ajax is... Now lost his shield, yeah. Nexus is... Oh, he gets a vet. But there's already three gunships overhead. No anti-air whatsoever. And that is it. Ajax survives only on 5,000 HP. He's standing in range of some T1 PDs. And well played. Both players. Nexus... Look at that. He got his T3 max. Got his T3 max. All he had to do really was survive. He just needed. Well, I think both players needed m more power shields, more than zero power shields. They're such a good unit. Would have. <laughs> I think if either one of them had power shields in their army, would have been a lot better for them. Probably would have saved. Saved Nexus. Made the. Made the fight a lot easier. And yeah, flak. Build more flak. Always build flak. Gotta have it in your army, because without the air, I think uh, I think Ajax would not just not have got the kill. I don't know if Ajax either would have escaped either. He's very deep in in enemy territory there, and Nexus Shield would have come back at some point. He had he had the nano, so he had the better far better region. 
Great series overall. Ajax wins three and a half to uh, one and a half. One draw in the middle and uh, three wins for Ajax, one win for Nexus. Great series. Congratulations to the Galaxy Cup winner, Ajax. And uh, he gets a nice, nice prize purse as well. Of a couple hundred, I think. So, well played to him. Congratulations. Congratulations to Nexus as well, getting to the final. Playing a great series. And, uh, yeah, well closed out by Ajax with the, the air snipe. And uh, I was not expecting that push from him. But it worked, and perfect timing as well, just as Nexus had invested in a, a T3 mechs. Really perfect timing. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed both the videos on uh, this final. And there'll be more games coming up. More ladder, more, more tournaments. More replay reviews. And uh, stay tuned. See you later.